A new report finds that Gen Z, those people born between 1997 and 2012, have been moving back to big cities with San Francisco at the top of the list. Real estate listing firm Rent Cafe found that the volume of rental applications by Gen Z climbed 21% over the past year, while applications from all other generations declined. According to the report, Gen Z is specifically targeting two Bay Area cities. Ron Force Taylor Pisaki joins us live from the city where you might see some more young professionals moving to. Taylor. Well, according to Rent Cafe, San Francisco is the hottest city when it comes to the most Gen Z rental applications. Meanwhile, San Jose also made the top 10 list, coming in at number seven. It may be puzzling after hearing news about people leaving San Francisco throughout the pandemic, but according to a new report, one group has made a comeback more than others. Real estate listing firm Rent Cafe found that Generation Z, those born between 1997 and 2012, applied for more rentals in San Francisco last year than any other city in the country. The report found that the volume of rental applications for all other generations fell. While broker at Rentals in SF, Jackie Tom, is experiencing a recent increase in inquiries. Over the past week, um, we've noticed that we're getting a lot of calls um, people wanting shorter term rentals, people wanting to move in in the summertime, June, July time frame. Tom says she didn't see the significantly high demand cited in the report. According to Rent Cafe, San Francisco saw a 101% surge of Gen Z rental applications between 2020 and 2021. Meanwhile, Gen Z rental applications rose by 21% across the country in the same year. When the pandemic hit, we were still getting um, working professionals that were older, um, people taking advantage of the low rents and upgrading. But I can't say that we have felt a huge amount of um, this generation coming in. If that trend continues, Tom says it would help fill many of the vacancies that still exist, but she doesn't expect rent to spike to pre-pandemic levels anytime soon. Now that companies are opening up um, and requiring people to come into the office, um, it's starting to have an impact on our market. I'm not saying that rents have come up to pre-COVID levels. Um, some of the higher end listings are, but um, it's a good sign that we're getting these inquiries and people, um, despite some of the changes in San Francisco, are wanting to come back. Now, when it comes to rent prices in the city, Apartment List's latest report shows that through February 2022 in San Francisco, rent increased 0.8% month over month compared to a 0.6% decrease nationwide. For now, we're live in San Francisco. Taylor Bisaki, Cron 4 News. Taylor, thank you. Officials in San Francisco.